Hello, this is Haka Debeen, and today we're going to be reading about level 51 of the Backrooms. I know I said yesterday I was going to be reading the Discovery log uh, attached to the uh, but turns out it's really long and I don't have time for that tonight. So instead we're going to be reading level 51. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Survival difficulty, class 4. Unsafe, unsecure, medium entity count. Level 51 is a subterranean site of an ancient city once inhabited by the Lost, now long abandoned and fallen into ruin. It consists of three primary sections, the outer labyrinth, the city within it, and a temple at the center of the city. Description The entirety of level 51 is suspended within an underground cavern. Based on the manner in which many structures appear disturbed, it may have possibly been located elsewhere before no clipping into this cavern. The architectural elements of level 51 resemble those of various ancient cultures from all parts of the world, all in the front rooms. However, its overall style does not align with any known singular culture and seems distinctly unique. All forms of technology cease functioning within level 51 and cannot be operated until removed. Thus, the level cannot be documented in any other manual in other er, er, manner relying upon technology, including photo, audio, and video. The source of this phenomenon is yet to be identified. Level 51 may be dived into may be divided into three primary sections, which are as follows. The Labyrinth. This is pottery that you recover from level 51. Upon entering level 51, waters will first find themselves in a marble maze with faded zigzag patterns of gold lining the floor. Pottery eva uh, askets and candles are strewn about in the corners and the grapevines and permeate the e cracks in the walls. There are also holes of various shapes and sizes in the ceiling, and some dripping with black ooze. The labyrinth's layout constantly shifts, as every attempt to map it has resulted in an entirely different map that contradicts previous and later attempts. The city. Beyond the labyrinth lies a city. Not much of the original structure remains. Having eroded beneath the sands of time and liminal decay, from what does remain, it's can be referred to that this it can be inferred that the city once consisted of houses, farms, and markets belonging to citizens from all castes of society. It was a prosperous, long standing, and densely populated area, possibly more so than present day level eleven. It is unknown why all the inhabitants of this city yet abandoned it, but maybe related to its possible displacement from its original from its original location. No human remains have been found. At the center of the city lies the, the temple. Compared to the rest of level 51, it has aged considerably better, though that compensates for little. The entire structure is slightly lopsided, and overgrowth of weeds choke the outer walls, and waterfalls gush from its sides. Various relics may be strewn about the temple's main hall, ranging from the, the tatters of ceremonial garb to idols to, to broken blades and arrowheads forged of iron. Several instances of a certain insignia may also be found, although the symbol was previously documented, its meaning had long eluding those attempting to study it with the discovery of level 51. It is now theorized to represent the collective religion of the loss. And there's the insignia right there. At the back of the main hall stands a large wall engraved with an inscription detailing the various gods of the laws. A transcription of the wall's contents may be found here. Oh! There's a link. Haven't we seen the Pantheon somewhere before? I feel like I've read the Pantheon on before. Um, 
Probably not, but also... This will have to be a thing for another time. There were statues sent throughout the temple, likely depicting the very same deities. However, many of them have been defaced and thus cannot be identified. The manner of them image of these statues appear more deliberate than natural. Beyond the main hall is another section of temple, appearing to have hidden and been hidden and sealed off. This area is an expansive meeting hall, within which is a large round table encircled by marble thrones. Behind each throne is a door. Most of the doorways are currently locked, save for those which lead to level theta, the hub of Grey Realm, level 11, 906, of Nyroscape, level 437, level 404, level 555, and level 197. Due to the apparent significance of this area and its barely understood nature, it will remain sealed off from wanderers and its specific location will remain undisclosed to the public while Meg conducts further investigation and research. Entities Within the crevices of Low 51 dwell entities such as Death Moths, Death Rats, and Crawlers. The temple is the only part of Low 51 devoid of entities. The entities will never approach the temple seeming to intentionally avoid it for reasons unknown. Bases, Outposts, and Communities Low 51 is not currently inhabited by any humans. However, archaeological evidence indicates that it was once a place of importance to the loss. This importance was specifically placed on the temple, where they would have regularly congregated to conduct the worship of various deities in their pantheon. They eventually abandoned this city for reasons unknown, and for a long time believed that it was completely gone. Following level 51's re rediscovery, the Lost ha has bombarded the Meg with layers of caution, showing a, panic un showing a level of panic unusual for them. The most recent one reads as follows. <clears throat> to our acquaintances within the Meg, recently your re in this rediscovery of... Hufstad has come to our attention. For your own safety and the safety of others, you must completely cease all activity within this level immediately. This is our fifth attempt to reach you on this matter, and until you yield our efforts shall not cease. The city was forgotten for a reason. You have awoken something that none of us can begin to fathom. Leave. The mag has filed away these letters and their records, but their activity on the level has shown no signs of stopping thus far. Entrances and Exits Entrances Level 51 may be accessed by no-clipping through a painting in Level 57's Hall of Mirrors. Exits Enter one of the holes in the ceiling of the labyrinth to go to Level 10 or Level 20. Do so with caution, however, as some entities may lurk within the holes. Enter any uh, of the unlocked doorways in the temple's meeting hall, and you will go to its corresponding level, I'm assuming. Which could be any level from, just to read the list out, out again, it could be any level or from level theta, the hub, gray realm, level 11, level 906, a Nyroscape, Level 437, level 404, level 555, and level 197. Anyway, that was level 51, also known as... I forgot to actually read the name. That's on me, but I'm guessing it's, it's City of the Lost. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!